With the political climate worsening, foreign ministers of Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay on May 20th in Santiago made an urgent appeal for an effective political dialogue and genuine civic understanding among all the political and social actors in the sister nation. One day earlier, another trail of foreign mediators announced they were trying to establish national dialogue between the long conflicting government and opposition coalition. However, former Spanish Prime Minister Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero and former presidents of Panama and the Dominican Republic Martin Tolijos and Leonel Fernandez realized that it would be a long, hard, and difficult path. After the trio held separate meetings with both sides, the opposition coalition issued a statement saying the talks must focus on the recall referendum, while President Nicolas Madula hoped the dialogue could make the opposition drop its coup-oriented attitude. Dual will, diplomacy, and national dialogue are just goodwill, but almost got ground to zero on May 21st when a two-day military drill climaxed to show the government's grip on power and readiness to confront any internal and foreign threat. The military exercise purportedly mobilized 520,000 armed forces, but obviously scaled down as seen from television and photos. Media was allowed to film and report the drill at Fort Guayigabiojo, south of Garagas, where rocket firing and rifle shooting were conducted. Todo el pueblo tiene que estar preparado en tareas específicas, en áreas específicas para asumir desde cada puesto de trabajo, desde cada trinchera, las tareas de defensa de la nación. It has been the second countrywide military maneuver conducted since Maduro became president in 2013. The head of state looked ever confident while shaking hands with his soldiers on drill. Last time was 2015, right after the United States issued an executive order to punish his government and some of his high-level officials for the alleged menace Garagas imposed against Washington.